Hey, Dominic, the CX guy here. Nice to see you again. Quick intro about me. I've been a Zendesk consultant for the past uh, seven years and nine months. I've been a Zendesk partner for the past two years. And I've recently finished a subcontracting uh, with Zendesk where they hired me to be a Zendesk consultant. And I'm here to share some of the experience that I've learned. And uh, today we're going to discuss uh, Flow Builder and how to use it, how, to, how the end user experience will uh, look like and how the admin experience is to create it from scratch. Um, quick, uh, quick info about the flow builder. If you're not familiar with it, it's the um, it's the functionality that Zendesk provides to uh, use Zendesk chat with the ability to create flows to interact with their users to encourage them to self serve so they can reduce some of the uh, backlog of tickets that end up in your system, which obviously saves you money and agent time. So. Uh, without further ado, let's jump in, share my screen. All right, so this is my guide environment where which I have created and I have my chatbot enabled right here. So let's start interacting with it. I activated from here as an end user. So the chatbot greets me and tells me like, um, yeah, hello, you can be as friendly as you want. And it asks me to choose an area of interest. I have chosen here, for example, in for this example, uh, product registration, account question, and additional services. I'm going to go for product registration because I have problems registering my product. So now uh, it asks me for some additional options. It asks me like, uh, do you have registration issues or you can't find your product? So initially I want to say like, yeah, you know what? I, I can't find my product. So now the answer bot is going to say, yeah, this is what I found for you. So I found two articles, which I'm encouraging you to go ahead and read. These are obviously some dummy articles. They're not necessarily the, 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 the real deal. So back to here, it asks me like, hey, the, was this useful or was it not useful? Okay, let me go through the second one as well to make sure that I read up and make sure that I see everything that the bot suggested. You know what, actually this didn't solve my request, so I need some more help. So now it's going to ask me to start over, which I will. And in this case, I want to talk to an agent. You know what, I've had enough, you know, you're, you, you're cute, Mr. Answerbot, but I need, uh, I need to talk to a human. So right now I've set this up. Uh, so for me to, um, for example, if I choose another option from which I don't have any articles in my knowledge base, um, I am going to ask uh, an agent to jump in and help this person. I will transfer you to an agent once I collect a bit more information about you, right? So this is an ability for you to uh, capture contact info for, the, for whoever is reaching out to you. And this is great because you know who you're dealing with. Uh, you can reach out to them at a later point if you don't necessarily resolve their request here uh, in the moment. So let me just uh, put in some contact details. Dominic, it asks for an email. Okay, let me put in my, uh, my test email. I can also add for additional information here. I can ask, for example, for what type of request this is, what language I want to be treated in. And obviously I could create triggers based on, um, on what the user chooses to assign them to the, to the correct group and create also other business rules as well. Your agent will be right with you. All right, so the all familiar uh, interaction uh, with the agent. So now I am in the support uh, interface. Uh, the chat request is here. I'm going to accept it. And I'm going to carry on with it as if I would with any normal request. Hi, Mr. Dominic. Sure, we'll help you. We'll help you. Oh, my spelling today is not very good. All right, so let me answer to this guy. Now back to the uh, agent, uh, sorry, to the end user experience. Yeah, essentially I go back and forth until I solve this request and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thanks. All right, so right now what I want to do is I want to delete this and obliterate it and create it from scratch. So you'll see what, uh, what this feels like in, to be created uh, by an admin. And you can obviously tailor it to your, your own customer experience and make it personalized, right? To use your knowledge base, to maybe send the user to 
use a form or to transfer them to an agent and so on and so forth. So let's go back to our interface. So I'm going to move my face and I'm going to go to the admin center where I am going to access my bots. So channels, bots, and this is my brand. I have an enterprise test account and I use it. So you know what? I am going to delete everything, uh, delete this step, right? So this means that everything has been deleted. So now we recreate it from scratch. So uh, the initial message has to be something friendly. This can be tailored to your, your own experience, right? Um, I'm just going to leave it like this. Hi there, I will do my best to help you. So uh, what I'm going to do is like my first, uh, first thing that I can do is I can obviously send a message. I can present some options, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I can show some health center articles or I can transfer to an agent or I can add business hours, right? So if I am available, then pass me to an agent. If I'm not available, then maybe give the user some articles or encourage them to maybe send in a request via a form. So right now I'm just going to present some options and I obviously have to give another message. So um, in order to help you, help you, uh, we will kindly ask you to choose an area of interest below. Option one, let's say registration. I want to add another option, uh, which I'm going to say billing and other requests, other areas. Okay, registration, billing, and other areas. Okay, so now we go for registration and uh, what we want to do is we want to add a step, add a step here. So what I want to do for registration, I want to present some articles. I have some great articles that I can present for registration and I want the end user to please interact with these before they, they interact with, uh, with chat agents. Because uh, if I have my product well documented, then why not encourage end users or customers to, uh, to browse them and read them and uh, maybe get the request solved. Because as you know, about 70%, 70 to 90% of requests are always the same. So if you have them documented, why not use them here? Uh, I found these options for you. Articles. Okay, so I want, uh, let's say ticket. Can I find something? Okay, this one. Uh, and then let's try to find another article. Yep, I want this one too. Uh, you know what? I want to give three options because I have amazing articles. I spent so much time doing them. Here we go. So I have these three options. Good, perfect. So now, um, as you can still follow the, uh, the flow builder, right? I have here uh, for registration, I have these three options, right? Which, uh, which uh, I can see them here. And at the end, I asked the customer, like, was this helpful or not? If it wasn't helpful, then they can start over. If it was helpful, then yay, good experience. Uh, for billing, I can say, you know what? What I want to do for billing, because it's important, billing is important, I want them directly to talk to an agent, right? So I'm going to just directly transfer them to an agent. Uh, we will transfer you directly to an agent. So right now it asks you like, what fields do you want to present to the user? So the, the default ones are name and email, but I can also search through my ticket fields. And that is amazing because I can say, you know what? Uh, also give me your request type. I want to know what type of request you're reaching out with and I can better help you. Um, okay, so now I'll transfer to an agent and I also have to give a friendly message. Um, if I don't say, if I don't uh, give a message here, it's not going to let me save. So I'm going to be very tedious about this. Bot message and agent will be, oop, 
right with you. Good. And for this one, for other areas, I want the, the end user to please go ahead and use a form for which they can maybe spend like one or two minutes of their time. And I can give them a form which they can find on the guide and they can simply just categorize the request and I can collect more information so I can help them better, right? This is what I intend to do here. So I'm just going to send a message and I'm gonna say, um, in order to best help here, uh, we will kindly ask you to fill in the form below. Uh, okay, I'm let me find my form. Wait a second, it's here. I just copy it from here. It's uh, much easier. Let me go back in here. Okay, in order to best help you here, we will kindly ask you to fill in the form below. Uh, in order to help you, we will kindly ask you to take two minutes of your time to fill in the form below. Alrighty, so I think this looks much better. Let's do a quick preview. Alrighty, so hi there. I'll do my best to help you in order to help you. We will kindly ask you to choose an area of interest below. Registration. Oh, here we go. Found some articles for you. Good. And so, yeah, this looks uh, pretty good. I'm going to publish it and I want to see how this looks like for the, um, for the end user in my guide or wherever I choose to install my widget, right? I can install it on any page of my website. Uh, I can, for example, uh, I can install it on my sales page, product page, on a registration page to help the user along with their journey. Uh, and I don't want to give you too much information, but for example, on the sales page, and a user is three times more likely to purchase, to make a purchase if an agent helps them. So yeah, that's very good. Alrighty, so let me close this window down and open another incognito so I can start this process from scratch and hopefully the cage will let me do my thing here. Alrighty, so let's see, activate the chat bot. All right, I will do my best to help. In order to help you, we will kindly ask you to choose an area of interest below. Obviously the wording is a little bit redundant and repetitive, but yeah, that doesn't really count here, right? So I have registration, billing, other areas. All right, let's see registration, how this works. I found these options. Here are my articles. Yeah, let's see one. Da -da -da, you know what? Nah, this didn't help. Let me open this back. No, I, you know what? I still need help. Screw this. Okay, so I will start over. All right, cool. So I'm going to go to billing right now. Let's see how this flow, flow looks like. Transfer you directly to an agent. Yep, give my name again. Give my email. And then what kind of request is this? Mm, uh, this is a repair. You know what? Very nice. I can choose what type of request it is. And I can also very easily set up a trigger um, which picks up this request and assigns it to the department that handles the request types repair right so i can do uh, i can create routing rules to make my life easier and also make the end users life easier without them knowing that we're, we're making their life easier send all right so now we're essentially waiting for an agent to pick up this request uh that's the message so we go in here. <clears throat> yeah, we accept it. Obviously, the whole history will appear here, like uh, from start to finish. You see, we uh, recommendations that we gave the um, the end user. They didn't like them. Then they went from scratch. The agent can go in and study that. Yeah, here we go. We can see uh, we can have more information about the user. And yeah, then we, just, we can start our um, interaction with them. So now going back to this, uh, okay. Hey man, sure, we'll help. 
uh, yeah, well, you know, this agent is kind of being um, a little bit rude to our client. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. Uh, I want to show you the last option for other areas because um, that is also very, very important. So let's close this up and open another incognito. I'm doing these one take. I'm not editing the videos anymore. Um, the more I spend time on editing videos, the more unsure I become of myself and do the whole self-doubt thing and my brain goes nuts. So I just just do them one take. And this is more, this is exactly like I do would do my conferences. So uh, it's much more realistic, I'd say. Other areas, right? So this one will just give me a message. And we'll say, yeah, in order to best help you, we'll kind of ask you to take two minutes of your time to fill in the form below, um, which is already highlighted as a, new, as a URL. I go to my uh, submit request page. Obviously, I can choose something which is uh, relevant to me, send in the request, and the agents will get back to me uh, when they, yeah, as soon as they find it fit. All right, so yeah, I'd say that uh, this is about it. Um, this is how you build a basic flow uh, with the help of the flow builder. Again, this helps you reduce, um, it helps your customers self-serve and reduces the number of incoming requests into the system. So lower backlog, um, saving agent time by categorizing requests and, uh, and being able to create routing. What else? Yeah, happier clients. So they can give, uh, they can find the answer to what they're looking for the fast in the fastest way possible so if you made it this far you're a champ <laughs> um, please like and subscribe this um, um, this video helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm because i also have a very low subscribe rate i am doing these very often or I'm trying to do these daily uh, like very with very small um, things that um, you can do around zendesk and uh, what else? Oh yes, please comment if you want to see some special content because yeah, this I do this because I want to help you. So yeah, see you, bye.